Hey nerds, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate an Elementor landing page with Webinar Jam. This way you can use your own landing page and button styles along with Webinar Jam's forms. This way you don't need any additional APIs, Zapier, or any other third-party plugins. From your Webinar Jam dashboard, go ahead and select which webinar you'd like to work with. Click on your links. Then we want to select embed in your website and let's then select registration button. Once that's selected, we can scroll all the way to the bottom to embeddable code. Let's go ahead and copy this code. Let's open up notepad or any other kind of text editor that we can easily work with. In here, essentially what this is doing is it's creating a div class that you could paste in uh, with HTML, but we want to kind of use our own styles and we don't really necessarily want to edit the CSS uh, for this specific button. So the main things that we need out of this is we need to grab the script out of this. Um, and then, which is going to be this last little bit here, starts with script, ends with script. Then uh, we can get rid of this top div. And as you saw, I got rid of the last div. In this button tag, there's a couple things we need out of this. We need to know the class, which I can grab and paste here. And then we also need the data webinar hash. And I'll just paste that down here as well. And then besides that, we can get rid of the entire button row here. So that way we're just left with the script and we have the class and then we have the additional data connection there, which I believe here I didn't copy the D. So here's the D in there. Okay, perfect. So now we got some basic information here. To help us out when copying and pasting it into Elementor, we could go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. For the class, you can just get rid of everything uh, except for within the quotes. So that way it's just, in this case, WJ embed dash button. And for the data webinar hash, we can get rid of the equal sign and quote, replace that with a pipette, a vertical line, and get rid of the last quote as well. All right, so now we're ready to basically copy and paste this directly into Elementor. So I'll drag this off to the side and let's hop over to Elementor. Within Elementor, we already have our design made and we have our buttons designed as well. So all this is using is just the standard Elementor button. All we need to do is go over to our link, make sure we add a hashtag in there and make sure we click on the link options and make sure that the open and new window is unselected. We can then head over to the advanced tab under advanced we have our CSS classes here. So that is gonna be our WJ embed button, which we can go ahead and paste that in there without the dot. And again, we can scroll down and then now we're looking for attributes. Under that, we can copy our data hash. So copy that line with the pipette and paste that in there just as we edit it in the text document. Now, all we need to do is add the script to the page. Now, what I did, uh, is I added this script up top already, but I'll show you what I did. I just added an HTML widget. Within the HTML code, all I did is grab the script, exactly how it's stated there. It says that there might be an error or that there's nothing in between the script. That's perfectly fine. Now all we need to do is just click update and or we could just preview our changes. On our page, we can go ahead and scroll down to where that button is. When you click on it, it will open up the Webinar Jam form. But as you do see, it does scroll to the top. That's because we added a hashtag into the link itself. It typically automatically scrolls to the top. If that's okay, then you're done. Congratulations. But if not, we can easily edit that. So if we don't want it to scroll automatically back to the top, we can go back to the button. Make sure that we get rid of the hashtag. That may adjust your styling. Make sure you correct it if needed. Uh, now what we could do is go to advanced scroll down to custom CSS, and then we just have a quick little snippet in here. That way, um, when you hover over the Elementor button, it will create a cursor icon. Because if we did not have this code in here, if we didn't have a link at all, uh, the cursor does not change. So I know the button changes, but it may not look actually clickable. But with this little CSS code in here, now the button looks clickable. That way, once we update, we can go back to the preview. And now, as you see, when I click on it, the page does not scroll, but the form does still open. Let us know in the comments down below to let us know that this worked for you. 
And be sure to hit that like button, get subscribed, and hit that bell notification to get informed on the latest Elementor tips. See you next time.